Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday to you all. Um, okay, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with everyone. And today's word of the day is gerrymander. Gerrymander is a verb. To gerrymander is to divide a state, school district, etc., into political units or election districts that give one group or political party an unfair advantage. When politicians gerrymander stretching their districts into observed shapes, just to maintain power, citizens often suffer the negative consequences. And my thought of the day is, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up that really matters. Okay, so this is for middle school only, middle school only, and the main campus. It's from April 17th through the 21st. Uh, Monday is Celebrity Day, dress up as your favorite celebrity couple. Tuesday is wear similar matching clothes. Wednesday is wear your favorite color from head to toe and a mini field day. Thursday is express your unique culture and Friday after age. Okay, this is the week of April 17th through the 21st. And again, this is for middle school main campus only. Okay, color run. Color run is coming up really fast. These are all the really cool prizes that you can get from Color On Plus. You are supporting our school. And here are some pictures from our past Color Runs. They are super, super fun. Everybody has a good time. And you're helping the school raise money for our school and helping the PTSA. So this is a great cause. Okay, so the Color Run. It is happening right here on, on campus at AW. Uh, AWK8 Center, and it's going to be on April 24th and April 25th. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun, really excited. Help us raise money for the school, help the PTSA. Uh, you should have received information about it. If not, you can, um, teachers, please make sure that you're sharing the information with the parents. Um, or you can con or boys and girls, you can contact the PTSA for more information regarding the color run. Okay, so it is Throwback Thursday, and I asked Joshua if he would do it again since he did such a great job last time. So I am turning it over to Joshua now. My name is Joshua Blunt from Ms. Edwards Homeroom, and today for Throwback Thursday, yes, I'm hosting it again. Thank you, Ms. Kruchik. I am going to be presenting the BMW 325i from 1986. And here's a couple fun facts about BMW. BMW was founded over 170 years ago in 1916, and its, and its first car was created in 1928. 
apply. However, BMW was originally an airplane manufacturer, but their airplane business didn't do so well. So they went to creating motorcycles and cars. And their founders were Camilio Castellani, Carl Rapp, and Franz Joseph Pop. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of what's inside the car. So we have a very nice red interior. It's a gold. And inside, these are all original plated. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. <laughs> And it is quite old. It doesn't. It doesn't have such a high speed like cars have today. But back then, one hundred and forty miles per hour was incredibly fast, right? And unfortunately, for some reason, it doesn't have side airbags. Which you know, um, I guess people drove safer back then. I guess. And. So fast. It is a Florida registered antique car. I don't know if the trunk is open. If the trunk is open. It also doesn't have a rear view mirror backup. You can't go. You can't. You, there's nothing to show the back of oh, the car. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just there's, have to turn your there head. There are no cameras. There is. We, we, we only put that fancy stuff. We only put that fancy stuff in the new one. Also, if any of you have, there are also uh, no lights for some of the areas in the car. Like, there's no lights that beep telling you another car is coming next to you. You just have to turn your head and look. Oh, and also, if you want to get into the back seat since there's no door, you would turn this, and then this chair will go back. And you'll crawl into the back seat, which is currently being housed by a big cardboard box. If any of you guys have parents who do own uh, a car, the cardboard box is housing the new um, pictures. No, the canvas top. Oh, and it's also a beautiful convertible, which it's a little difficult to unravel it. But I think maybe, maybe you can Google a picture of it. But... Well, yes, this is basically my presentation of the 1986 BMW 325i. And thank you again, Mr. Kroczyk, for letting me host this Throwback Thursday again. And have a wonderful day at Waterways. Thank you, Joshua. That was awesome. What a great presentation. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, you do an excellent job. You're my great field reporter. So thank you so much for that. Uh, and that was pretty interesting too. Remember boys and girls, our school-wide expectations, be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be safe in the classroom, hallways, staircases, and outside areas of the school by walking to your destination safely in a straight and quiet line, no pushing, shoving, or horse playing while going to and from your classes and our special or elective classes. Be respectful to yourself, your family, your peers, your teachers, your custodians, your bus drivers, and all the adult staff members that come to school and help support you each day. Also have respect for your learning environment and school facilities, such as the bathrooms, cafeteria areas, hallways, outside areas, and being quiet in the hallways and lobby areas while other classrooms are in session is a very respectful way of showing and doing your best for yourself and others. Be responsible for your actions, Take responsibility for your learning by working to improve each day, participating in class, turning in completed classwork assignments, and home learning and making good choices. Uh, take responsibility when you make poor choices and work towards making better choices in the future. Okay, so uh, in addition to April's core value being honesty, uh, April is also Child Abuse Prevention Month. Uh, so we are having Blue Ribbon Week in, um, to support child abuse prevention. So on Monday, April 24th, team up against child abuse, wear a team shirt or jersey. On Tuesday, stand together against child abuse. On Wednesday, stomp out child abuse, wear your favorite boots or shoes. On Thursday, 
uh, peace out to child abuse, wear tie dye and peace signs. And on Friday is blue day, wear as much blue as possible. Again, this is the week of April 24th and it is um, to support child abuse prevention. Okay, a couple of things, one um, grades. So this is the last day of the marking period. This is your last chance, boys and girls, for your grades. Teachers, please make sure that you do your grade verification reports. Please make sure you do effort and conduct. Please make sure you're putting in appropriate comments that are necessary. Um, it's really important. I know a lot of you are not going to be in the building tomorrow. Yes, boys and girls, there is no school tomorrow. Uh, it is a teacher work day, so please do not come to school tomorrow. There is no school. Um, so teachers, uh, so I know some of you are not coming in, so please make sure that everything is completed so I do not have to hunt anybody down tomorrow. Uh, so the best way to do this is you do your grade verification report, open your grade verification reports, go through each subject or each class and make sure that you have everything in there that you need to have and make sure it is the right grade um, or effort and conduct that you will want to have in there. Uh, it's very, very important. Also, grades are going to be uploaded at 2 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Friday, April 7th. Again, 2 P M. Please make sure everything is done before 2 p.m. Uh, and that is when it's going to be uploaded. I was going to do tickets today, but I don't have the tickets with me. So we're going to do tickets on Monday. Tickets will be done on Monday. And then we're going to start all over because it's going to be a new marking period. So tickets will be on Monday. So we're going to draw names then. That is all my, oh, and if you have laptops, please make sure that you turn them in um, so we can scan them and be make sure that we are ready for testing. That is all my announcements. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring, everyone.